Okay, picture a dusty desert caravan winding its way west from Persia or Iran. Rare spices and jewels are secretly stashed on basket-laden camels. But occasionally, there'd be an even more precious cargo, an exotic long-haired cat. The British actually called them long hairs, but to the rest of the world, they're simply Persian. Europeans first became fascinated with long-haired cats when the modern Persians' forebears were imported from Turkey hundreds of years ago. Today, Persians are loved and admired all over the world. They're just real sweet and loving. They like to sit in your lap and um, just follow you around and everything like that. But their exotic beauty is their main attraction, and their fur from head to tail is long, thick, and silky. But all this beauty comes at a price, and I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about care and maintenance. They have to be brushed once, at least once a day, usually twice if you want to keep a nice coat on them. If you don't, they can cause matting up of the coat, and um, if they get to where they get too matted up, the, act the person actually quits taking care of itself. So the entire um, hair will clump up and um, get real close to the skin and it's really, really bad for them. The only way you can get it off is if you completely shave them. Persians typically have very short, cobby little legs, stubby bodies, short tails, and a large round head. Regarding their overall health, they have such short noses. They seem to have no nose at all. Make sure you can see little holes in there so they can breathe well. If you have retained a Persian that's going to tear a lot, then you're going to want to clean their eyes daily as well. Sometimes a cotton swab with just a little bit of water is all you need. Just roll it in that spot and it helps remove some of that eye gunk. When you're going to a breeder, the main thing to look at is your surroundings. Are they clean or are they dirty? Look through their cats and you want to look at the adults. Do the adults look like their eyes need to be wiped down? Are their coats matted up because they haven't been brushed like they should? People who have Persians tell us they're tremendously responsive and a constant source of joy. But if you ask a Persian, they're going to tell you they're a lot of trouble. But trust me, they're worth it. Isn't that right, Rowdy? <laughs>